Hey folks, Ryan Walker, Ozark Smallmouth Alliance. Very excited to bring you another edition of OSA Smallmouth Streamer 101. This week we're doing a very, very cool fly called the SBS Streamer. That actually stands for Smallmouth Bass Streamer. It's one of my favorite patterns to fish. Super easy to fish, super fishy, uh, and, and a fairly fun fly to tie, and uh, not, not real difficult either. So Right now we're going to get into the materials list and then we'll get into uh, construction of the fly. All right, so for the hook, our favorite Gamagatsu B10S. This one's in a size two. Um, a lot of the, the tail, or all of the tail, I should say, is done with uh, some extra select craft fur um, available at your local fly shop, plateau, feather craft, wherever you go. Um, for kind of the underbody of this fly, we're going to be using uh, a product called uh, Crystal Chenille. This is small. I normally use medium or large, but I was out, so uh, and it's Sunday and fly shop's closed, so I can't uh, go get it. But yeah, uh, this is Pearl, small uh, chenille, Crystal Chenille. Um, so for the body, for the over and the under body, um, top and bottom of the body, we're going to use Senyo's Laser Dub. This is a really dense, fibrous uh, dubbing that uh, can be used for a tons of different things uh, other than just bug bodies. Um, it's used for a lot of different patterns and it's a lot of fun to tie with as well. Um, the eye, I've got hairline dubbing pseudo eyes. Uh, these are in red. You can get them in yellow and a bunch of different colors, but the ones I'm using for this are red and these are a medium. And then obviously the ubiquitous flash. This is uh, crystal flash in uh, uh, peacock. And uh, it's one of, my, uh, one of my favorite colors as well. So um, always have a little bit of Zappa Gap and our thread is Danville uh, 210. Uh, and, and this is in chartreuse since we're doing chartreuse in Weiss because if it ain't chartreuse, it ain't no use. All right, let's get right into it. All right, so I've already got the eye on the fly. Uh, started my thread, did the eye, super glued it in so it's tough. This fly rides hook point up, so we're gonna do our colors appropriately, right? So um, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put the tail on, and the tail is gonna go chartreuse first and then white, because obviously the fly is gonna ride like this. We want uh, white to be on the bottom, so here we go. All right, tail's on. Make that tail about 3x the body, or the length of the hook shank. That's what I usually do. Um, next, we're gonna put some flash in. I've got four strands of our favorite crystal flash here. I'm just gonna tie it in on one side. Now, we're gonna get our Palmer Chenille. And you want all this to kind of lay back, so we're just going to palmer it forward. All right, there's that. Now it's time for some laser dub. Um, I'm going to get a big hank of it out. I like this fly to be fairly dense. The more water it holds for me, the better. What I do with this stuff, because you're going to brush all this out anyway. Get rid of some of that. You're going to end up brushing this stuff out. So, what you want to end up with is about like that. And we're going to tie this on underneath. All right, so now what we got to do is get some material in front of the hook. So we're just going to pull that through, wrap up in front. We just get a couple of wraps in front of the eyes, and then we'll do the same process for the back. All 
Now what we're going to do is on that thread right there, we're going to get some zappa gap on there. It's important that you get it in the fiber as well, in the in the laser dub, because that's what's going to hold it in place. Now we can start working these things back. So what I do is I'll pull it back and I'll just hold it in place for a second until that glue dries. There we go. Now, take your handy dandy brush tool in this case toothbrush tool now you can finish the fly and there we have the SBS streamer I'll take a little bit more care and feeding on this just to kind of pull some of that extra material out but I love these flies to be dense the more dense they are, the more they pulsate in the water. It's a great fly to fish. Catches a ton of smallmouth for me every year. Um, really good fast water fly. Uh, one of those reactionary strikes that you can get bringing a fly um, out of slow water into fast water. Ton of fun to fish. And there we've got a couple of SBSs done and ready to fish. That's absolutely one of my favorite patterns. Really fishy, really, really a lot of great action in the water. So um, have fun fishing them, folks. Have fun tying them. And uh, most of all, free the fighter.